Welcome to Daron Yoga, everyone. Today we're going to do a shorter practice that's moving, flowing, a dynamic flow, but really make sure that while we're moving, you're still paying attention to your breath and to the fact that your mind is present. So we'll begin right away. It's not too intense, but if ever it feels too much, please stop and take a break. Ready? Close your eyes. Just take a moment to really connect with your breath, maybe your ujjayi breath. Hear the soft sound that is created by restricting slightly the throat, the glottis. Notice where your mind is and see if you can bring the mind to the present moment. Allowing the body to feel relaxed and ready. Softly open the eyes. Notice what you're seeing so that you can practice your drishti, the presence of the eyes. And let's come to the hands and knees. Beginning with a bit of delicious pose. So moving your hips in circles, warming up the, bit, the hips and the Spine, maybe even the shoulders, elbows, head, neck. Other direction if you haven't switched yet. Remember your breath. And if we'll come back to neutral, keep the hips over the knees and walk the hands forward for a downward puppy. Either forehead towards the ground or if that's easy enough, bring the chin down. If nothing reaches down, that's fine as well. Chest is heavy. Into the downward facing dog. Rooting the hands, tuck the toes under. Lift back. Take a few breaths here. If you need to bend a knee at a time, by all means, go ahead. Try to activate your bandhas already. Take the belly slightly in and up. Take the right leg up to the sky. Look a bit forward, bring the knee to the nose, exhale. Inhale, back to the sky. Twice more, exhale, nose. Inhale. Exhale, nose. Inhale. Look forward, low lunge. Right foot between the hands. Left knee lowers down. Hands can stay on the ground, be on the knee or eventually on the hips. Take your time to warm up. Wherever you are, pay attention to your breath. Attention to your gaze, your drishti. The important thing here is that you feel your hips, maybe your left thigh, so as stretching. And most important, that you're present. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Hands down, straight in the front leg. Reach forward, fold over the leg as much as is reasonable for you. Take your time, we're just warming up here. Presence of breath, presence of mind. Beautiful. Hands back down. Take the right foot back behind you into plank. Hold plank for a moment. By all means, some of us will need to take the knees down for chaturanga. Either knees or not. Lower down. Inhale. Take a baby cobra, maybe a full upward dog. See what feels right for you. And into the downward facing dog. Left leg reaches up, slow and with control. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale back. Exhale, nose. Inhale back. Last one, forward to the nose. Inhale. And low lunge, left foot between the hands. Right knee lowers down. Again, hands on the ground, the knee or the hips. 
enjoying your breath. Let me see if you can keep relaxed, whatever doesn't need to work. Shoulders are relaxing. Face is softening. You can really feel the muscles between the eyebrows relaxing. Straightening the left leg. Again, a little fold towards the leg. Nice. Release. Taking again the vinyasa in slow motion. Knees or not, lower chaturanga. With an inhale, finding what feels good for you. Opening your heart space, stretching your back. Relaxing the face into the downward dog. Walk the feet to the front of the mat. And with an exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. See your thumbs. Maybe a hint of a back bend. And hands to the heart. Samastitihi. Sun salute A, inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, forward fold, inhale, lengthen, look forward, either step or walk back or jump back, chaturanga, inhale, exhale, downward dog, try to maintain space between the shoulder blades, then bandhas, belly lifts, Pelvic floor lifts, hips moving back, and oh, that delicious breath. Exhale fully, look forward, inhale, jump and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana, chair, happy pose, fierce pose. Three breaths, if you want, lift the heels. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Right foot forward, left heel down, up to the warrior one. Hold the warrior. Hands to the heart, add a little twist to the right. Maybe left arm up. If you like, it adds a little back bend. Arms back up to the sky. Watch the hands slowly bring them to the inside of the right foot for lizard. Left knee down. Feel free to stay here. This may be enough. As you can see, Kasha lowering down to the forearms, that's perfectly awesome too. Many of us will need a block for under the forearms. Breathing all the while. If it gets easy, move the elbows forward. Keep the shoulders and face relaxed. Hands back onto the mat. Step the right foot back. Vinyasa. Right away, left foot forward. Right heel down, slow and steady coming up. Take a moment in the warrior. Vira Badrasana. Twisting to the left. Optional, right arm up and back.
arms back up. Slowly watch the hands consciously into the lizard. You can move the left foot a bit to the side. Make sure it's more forward than the left knee. Staying on the hands, on the block or the forearms. And surrender into your deep Ujjayi breath. Notice if you drift away, practice dharana, practice staying present, focused. Nice. Slowly coming back up, step the foot back, take your vinyasa. Following your breath, meeting in downward dog. Right foot for the warrior, warrior one. Present, see your right hand, open slow motion, warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Warrior two, extended side angle, either elbow on the thigh or hand down to the ground. Left arm over the head and open, open, open the chest. Back to the warrior two. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot forward, right heel down. Slowly up. Virabhadrasana, warrior one. Open slow motion, warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Warrior two, extended side angle, Tita Parshva Konasana, back to the warrior two, and exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, shine through, shoulders back, Exhale, downward dog, look between the hands, step or jump, elongate, exhale, forward fold, inhale, lengthen one more time, take the feet hip width apart, forward fold, maybe hold the elbows or any other forward fold you feel like today. Big toes or hands under the feet, Ashtanga style breathing. Release the hands, roll up to standing. Samastitihi. Open your right foot to the right side for Prasarita Padottanasana. Clasp your hands behind the back or if you need to, take a strap between the hands. Inhale, lengthen. And with an exhale, forward fold. Keep your legs strong. It's as if you're lifting up the kneecaps to activate the quads a bit. Relax the head, relax the mind. Relax the eyes.
Listen to your breath. Inhale, come all the way up. And step it to the front of the mat. Take the hands behind the back, reverse namaste. Step the right foot back. Inhale, tall. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come back up. Right knee forward in the air. Straighten the right leg. Hold for four, three, two, one. Release the right foot. Step the left leg back. Hips to the front. Inhale, tall. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Steady the gaze, left knee forward. Straighten the leg. Hold, four. Release. Beautiful, one last standing balancing pose before we go to the ground. Wrap the right leg over the left, eagle. Right arm under the left, hips back and down. Elbows up. Breathe. Release, second side, left wraps over the right, left arm underneath the right, hips down, elbows up, back and down with the hips, so there's no pressure on the knee, gaze is steady, breath is steady. Slowly release. Beautiful, everybody. Here we go. We're going down to the ground. Take the feet a bit apart. Lift the hips. Sorry, lift the heels. And slowly lower the hips. Pause. Lower all the way down to a squat. Take a moment here. We're going to Chaturanga. If you want to take crow pose for three breaths on the way, go. Otherwise, take your vinyasa meeting in downward dog. Shifting the weight, gaze a bit forward. Hold for three, two, one. Chaturanga. Inhale up. Maybe a bit of a smile. And downward dog. Coming forward to plank. Lower to the belly. Take one breath here. Arms alongside the body. Chest up, legs up. Any variation of arms you like, I'm going to clasp behind the back for Shalabhasana. You can take the hands forward if you like. We're going to transition right into bow pose, so bend the knees, take hold of your ankles and lift up. If it's too much, take a break, take another quick shalabhasana. That's fine too. Release down. Lift up to cobra, or if you need to take a child's pose. Downward dog. Look between the hands, we're gonna come through to sit, step or jump through to sit. I'm gonna do a short little forward fold, Baddha Konasana, somewhat of a deep stretch. Belly in. Lengthen. If you need to sit on a block, if you're rounding a lot in the back, please sit on a block. Lower down to wherever feels good for you. And just allow yourself a full minute of surrender.
Remember to stay present. If you slowly start to make your way out of the pose, bring the knees in and just shake your legs. You're going to transition from here right to your knees. Tuck the toes under, sit on your heels. Just take two, three breaths here. It's nice. It's a little bit of a foot massage. Maybe intense on the toes. That's okay. Mm. Release the toes. Coming up to the knee for a few back bends. So, we'll start, we'll do them together. Remember, hips move forward, chest, chest keeps lifting up. So we're gonna start with one arm at a time. Left hand either stays on the hip, right arm goes down, opens. Left hand goes either hips, or hip or heel. Right arm comes up, back, and maybe even a bit of a twist. So the right hand goes towards the left side and push your right hip a bit forward. Either keep the head up or if your neck feels good, let the head drop back. Breathe. Inhale, come up. And let's switch. Right hand on the hip or right hand on the heel. Left arm comes up and over a bit in a across, a bit twisting. Left hip moves forward. Remember to breathe. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, child's pose. For a couple of breaths. Coming right back up. Camo, your variation, hands on the hips, toes tucked under, or maybe hands to the heels. Keep the chest lifted. Your neck is struggling today. Keep the chin to the chest. If it feels good, let the head fall. Breathe for five. Three, stay calm. Inhale, come up. If you need a quick child's pose, here you go. One breath, just release. And come right back up. We're not going to do a long child's pose, so we're staying in the momentum of back bends. One more, repeat what we've done so far, or hands to the hips. They can be also behind the knees. And just lower down as far as you can, but don't let the head touch the ground. Just let yourself go, breathe. Inhale, come up, and child's pose. on the ground, step it back, plank, lower down, chaturanga, inhale, shine, 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 and exhale, downward dog, take two breaths here, look between the hands, either step or jump through to your seat, I'm going to start with a twist, bending the left knee, taking the right leg over, Ardha Matsyandrasana, twisting over to the right side. The left hand can be in the air, maybe holding the knee or the foot. Don't worry about that, that's more of an Ashtanga variation.
the breath alive, keep the gaze focused but soft, center and switch sides. Right knee bends, left foot comes over, twisting over to the left side. Inhale and then exhale, twist. Back to center, release, take your left foot forward, right foot to the inside of the left thigh, Janu Shirshasana, lengthen and forward fold. Of course, if you need to bend the left knee or sit on a block, that's perfectly fine. Respect and protect your spine. Switch sides, please. Yeah, we're not staying very long, but we're still moving consciously, no rush, full awareness for the transitions, for the present moment, awareness of breath, meditation and movement. Inhale, coming up. Take both legs in front of you for Paschimottanasana. Once more, if it's a bit intense, you can start feet bent, stay there, knees bent, and then over time you can straighten the leg. Over time means, could be today, but it could be over time over the next year or two, right? It's about doing the best that we can but it's also about respecting where we are today to prevent ourselves from getting injured, to prevent overstressing and heating the mind. Beautiful release, slowly coming up. Cool. So we're going to lower onto our backs. Let's turn around. Slow and steady. Just take your legs up into a legs up. You can use the wall if you want or just here for a few breaths, not too long. Surrendering your mind. Release the legs down. Shavasana. Let yourself completely surrender. You can wiggle your body for a moment. And then, poof. Complete, complete surrender. Palms facing up. Feel your feet relax. As if white energy is coming up your legs, relaxing your muscles, relaxing your knees your thighs, it washes through your hips, a sense of cleanliness, of purity, it comes up to your belly and chest, offering saucha, that pureness, mixed with the love, feeling the mind, the face, the shoulders, the arms, soften and relax. Simply be.
Take a deeper breath in. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring the knees up to your chest and roll onto your right side. Slowly returning to your seat. Just a moment to notice your body, to notice the energy flow, the breath, hopefully the softness and spaciousness of the mind. Bring the hands to your heart center. A moment to really experience gratitude. Thank you all for practicing with us. Hopefully you enjoyed. Leave us a comment if you did. Share it with friends and make sure to subscribe so you can get more of these. Love you all. Namaste.